Hey guys, what's up? ATF here. I know it's been quite a while uh, since I made a video. I just haven't had the the YouTube uh, the YouTube bug, if you will. You know, wanting to make videos and stuff. I just I'm not done with YouTube. I, it's just I don't know. I, I guess I hit that plateau a while ago. You know, loading videos, loading videos, and now I'm just like sitting flat. I don't know what to do. But I'm not going to quit YouTube. Don't worry about the channel just disappearing. Um, but here we go. Today's like May May 9th or 10th or something like that. I'll try to get this video uploaded before I go to bed. So, Because, you know, give you guys something to watch. But anyways, this is from my buddy Dwayne Myers. Uh, you know, you have to... I don't want to show the address because it's one of those little, little post-it post note type um, things with the address so you're just gonna have to take it um, I can't even think of my words I just got back from doing some stuff I'm kind of tired for some reason um, you're just gonna have to take my word for it this is an impromptu video I have my phone in my hand so here we go we're gonna go ahead and open this get my knife out of my pocket I just uh, created this little doodad today bottle opener with a knife this is a spider co ladybug so Let's let's try, let's try this unprofessionalness. Pin it down with an elbow and then cut it with the other hand. Oh, that worked beautifully. All right, that was kind of bad, but interesting little. Anyways, I have no clue what he sent me. He didn't tell me anything. There's a paper in here. I'm gonna read it after just in case it happens to spoil what's inside. I have had that happen before, so sorry about that. And we, <laughs> what? Oh, that's a good case. Larry's cheddar cheese. Oh my goodness. That, that got a laugh out of me. Oh, please be cheddar cheese. All right, it's kind of sealed. Microwave ready in minutes. Oh. Oh wait, oh these are mashed, mashed potatoes. Oh, even better. You know, I'm Irish and all, so. Yeah, we're just gonna have, sorry guys. I just couldn't do that with, uh... all right, so here we go. There's bubble wrap in there. Can I do this one-handed? Oh. No, I'm not, okay. okay. I didn't look at it, I don't know what's in there. Oh my gosh, Dwayne, you and tape. Oh, I, I think I know what that is. All right, so... Oh, very nice. So he sent me a... What is called a Vaughn Tap Boy. I know this model very well. I know it's kind of odd. What? Knife Channel. This is a bottle opener. Uh, I told him a while ago that I collect these, and uh, he actually sent me a few, but it went to the previous address that we were at here in, in Fresno and uh, and I I didn't know that package was coming and he sent it to that address and so sadly a few of them were lost but he um, we got the address right this time and this one's neat uh, believe it or not I, I have a couple of these however this color this uh, like a, a teal or I don't know what that is I do not have and uh, I'm really kind of weird because even if it's the same type of opener but it has a different color or it's a different uh, beer advertising or something I pick it up so this one will definitely go into my strong collection now of over 160 bottle openers this this is one of them Golden Glow beer out of I think Oakland or something all right, he says, hey, Andrew, I hope you're still collecting these. Yes, I am. I don't know how old this is. Um, I, I know a little bit about them and Vaughn overall. Vaughn's out of Chicago, as you can see there. This is probably from the 50s. Uh, there's comparable models um, from other companies, such as Echo. They're still making kitchen supplies. And... Uh, some of those have obvious designs of fit the 1950s, so, and plus that color is very 50s or 60s-ish, so, 
There you go. So yeah, 50s or 60s. It came from my grandparents' house. Oh, neat. Okay. All right. So it's not only is it just now an opener that, you know, someone could have found at an estate sale or a yard sale, but that's cool. It came from his grandparents' house. So who knows? Maybe they had this back in the 60s or 50s. I thought you might like it because it's a, it's a funny brand I've never heard of. <laughs> that's funny because you've never heard of it, but I have a lot of openers made by Vaughn out of Chicago. Um, I have a couple of these tap boys and a similar one that has like an extra protrusion there that will make another uh, tap in the bottle when you kind of pierce the can. Anyways, awesome. Thank you, Dwayne. XDM50 is his name. Silver Fox, I guess, because he's old. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um, all right. Very neat. Thank you, Dwayne. I will, again, I'll definitely keep it in my collection. I keep all my church key type openers, you know, ones with the bottle opener and the can tapper or the can piercer. I keep those all kind of separate from the other ones like these. I kind of, I'm a, I'm a, I am a bottle opener freak. Again, over 160 now. So thank you, Dwayne, so much. That's cool. Again, I don't have this color, so it's awesome. And it's in really good condition. It has a little, has a little something right there, but uh, I have seen these in far, far worse condition. So this is actually really nice. The quality of the metal, or not the necessarily quality, but the finish is still very nice. Not rusted out or anything. And that's a big thing for me, the, uh, the rust level. So that's very low on this. So again, thank you, Dwayne. Go check him out. XDM50, he does knife reviews, he does all, all types of stuff in this uh, kind of category of knives and flashlights and prepping. Is there anything else in there? No, that's all. I was, I was hoping for some mashed potatoes, but okay. Man, Dwayne, you left me disappointed. Send me mashed potatoes. All right, guys, y'all take care. This is ATF, and I'm out.